It's one interface, uh, everything's in one place, it's fully collision checked to real world, how you are on the machine, um, so it's safe and obviously that process of taking out the manual setup is much, much faster. Welcome to another MTD Tech Corner. Now today I'm talking with Tom from OpenMind and we're going to be talking about Hypermill's best fit function. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is all about if you've got difficult castings or on repeat for work holding. Now, what, what are the problems you have if you have a casting you're trying to put in and it's, it's not being held in the same place every time? How do you deal with that normally without a, a best fit functionality? Yeah, so traditionally with, with castings and, and certain stock that you may have, there's a certain amount of time, and in some cases a lot of time spent by the operator having to uh, check certain points, jack certain things up, clamp certain things down to get the stock aligned in, in a way that can be machined uh, on the machine. And that's if you've got complex forms, complex work holding, like you say, jacking stuff up. It sounds just, I mean, I've never done it personally. I've always just had a standard machine vice when I've been running machines, but it sounds like a difficult job that's very time consuming, especially when it's keeping that spindle from running. Absolutely, can be very time consuming, can, can be hours. Uh, in some cases, uh, we've heard scenarios, uh, days, where people have spent getting these castings or stock in the right position. Whereas Hypermill's best fit, as the name suggests, it best fits your, your part using a 3D point probing, uh, which you feed back into the virtual machine, which will then modify your NC code, then X, Y, Z, or the fourth, fifth axis if needed. And then we gives you the code that's, uh, that's best fitted your part in that stock uh, so you can then run the machine. So it's taking out that whole manual process of setting the stock up. So you've not had to jack stuff up, but also I guess it, it eliminates all the complex, that complex work holding to, to move things around and you can just clamp it and probe it. But why do I need the best fit functionality? Surely I could just clamp it and spend my time, instead of jacking stuff up, probing the part and finding out where it is and using my own head to calculate, well, this if this is here, then um, just changing my kind of global offsets, I guess on Fanica BG53, you set your A, your C, your X, Y, and your Zs. What does best, best fit do differently that I couldn't just do manually? Uh, uh, that, that's the, the right word, manual, as we're doing it automatically. Um, yes, you could do it, and you would be a very smart guy if you did. Um, well, no, I'm not, I wouldn't be able to do it personally. <laughs> Thank you, Tom, I appreciate that, but it's not me. I'm talking about something people who are a lot, yeah. more smart, a lot smarter uh, than me. If it was a, a three-axis movement, X, Y, and Z, probing uh, would be quite simple on the machine uh, but that's not always the case with the castings they, they may be twisted it may need a fourth and fifth axis move um, to get this stock in the right position and to do that manually would be very very time consuming and i guess if i had to manually probe it as well i'm making changes on the machine tool which the whole point of having a cam system is you can post it out you can simulate things and make sure they're okay I guess if I if I do that on the machine tool manually, do you have any issues with co with collisions or, or I guess unexpected um, changes to the program after you've posted it out and checked it? Yeah, so we, we fully collision check in Hypermill in, in virtual machine and we we output code. Now, if that's based on a scenario that, that we've set up, if on the machine that scenarios change, for example, if a stock has to be moved manually and there are third party software that can do the uh, best fitting, if you like, on there, but that's not what we've simulated in cam world. It, there's, a, there's a mismatch, there's a difference. Um, so with virtual machine, we feed those points back into, with best fit, sorry, we feed those points back into virtual machine, and then it, the, the output code is modified, we're fully collision checked, we're safe, and then we put the new NC code into the machine. And I guess it's all about not just eliminating that manual process, which inherently brings some uncertainty, but because you automate it, it's consistent, you know it's right, you can trust it. And as we've said with a few of um, the videos in this series about Hypermill's virtual machines, you can't walk away from the machine when you run it for the first time, but there's a lot less unknown things to go wrong during that prove out process, which is quite a costly time period when you're making these parts. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's one interface, uh, everything's in one place, it's fully collision checked to real world, how you are on the machine, um, so it's safe, and obviously that process of taking out the manual setup is much, much faster. Okay, so if someone wants to find out how this best fit works and how it can work for them, who do they need to talk to? Yeah, so they can um, go on our website, there's an email address on there, and you can give us a call and we can direct you to the, the account manager in, in your area.